So we're going to take a turn. The flag is raised as well, so being called in for our first race, the Paul Humes Memorial Handicap Hurdle. And then off. And away we go. For the opener, Norse Legend, one of the first to show, along with last year's winner, Sheila's Fancy in the orange colours, the premier Celtic dark cheek pieces and nose band, no trumps, the Royal Runner, Scarlet Sleeves with a white face. They're amongst the first to arrive at the first. Project Mars made a slight mistake in midfield. Ruby Yates was a little awkward. And uh, likewise, Mole Trap just took a while to gain his equilibrium. A couple of errors as we head into the first turn. So out in the lead, it's Sheila's Fancy under Mark Goldstein in the orange colours from the Premier Celtic and Sean Houlihan as they turn at the far end. The greatest task was caught for Harry Cobden on the inside of the striped colours of Jimmy who shows on the outside and on the inside is No Trump's white-faced uh, horse with the scarlet sleeves. Norse Legend comes next, racing on the outside of the pink jacket of Firenzo. After that mistake at the first, Project Mars has about three or four behind, and they include Ruby Yates. We'll see what happens. Who's pushed along by Nile Houlihan from an early stage, and our nest egg, as Sheila's fancy, leads them over flight number two. Again, Ruby Yates was a little bit slow, and again, Mole Trap has just bumped along on the inside. Those two have uh, come off the bridle at a very early stage here. So a long way to go. Sheila's fancy on the inside of the Premier Celtic as they take flight number three from Jimmy on the outer of Casper's Court. Once again, Project Mars wasn't too clever there, jumped into the back of Norse Legend, who's another who's being pushed along. So despite the very early stages, a few of them just making slightly heavy weather of things as Sheila's fancy leads the field up past us with the Premier Celtic. The grey Casper's Court shows in third on the inside of the striped colours of Jimmy. Then behind these, on the inside, the Royal Runner, No Trumps, ahead of Norse Legend, who's still being pushed along. A line of three there, Mole Traps made ground on the inside now into about seventh or eighth place on the inside of the pink jacket of Ferenzo, then Project Mars. Ruby Yates comes next, still pushed along, we'll see what happens. And last of all, at the back of the field is our nest egg. So towards the pair of flights of hurdles in the back straight, Sheila's Fancy and the Premier Celtic are about four lengths clear from Casper's Court, and no trumps as they step over that. Jimmy comes next on the outside of Norse Legend with Project Mars, uh, Mole Trap and Ferenzo. And a gap of three lengths to Ruby Yates. We'll see what happens and our nest egg. So racing towards the last on the far side, Sheila's Fancy and the Premier Celtic. Both jump it well. Old field are over. And the distance top to bottom is round about ten lengths or so. Just a slap down the neck for no trumps on landing after that flight of hurdles as well. Just trying to hold the position on the inside, the Royal Runner with the white face. So making the turn out of the back straight, and we're just about to reach the halfway stage with Sheila's fancy a neck in advance of the Premier Celtic. The two of them continue about three to four lengths clear. of Casper's caught the grey on the inside of Jimmy, then no trumps and Norse legend pushed along. Project Mars is in seventh with Mole Trap, then Ferenzo. Bit of progress for our nest egg right round the outside in red and white, and we'll see what happens, and Ruby Yates are the back markers. So making their way up the home straight, and the front pair, if anything, will increase the advantage over the rest of the field. Sheila's Fancy and the Premier Celtic, half a dozen lengths to the good now, over No Trumps, who rose in third, ahead of Casper's Court. Uh, then Jimmy Project Mars on the outside, our nest egg. Norse Legend under strong pressure has lost quite a few positions and is now right towards the back of the field. So Sheila's Fancy down towards the last in the circuit's time with the Premier Celtic. Casper's Court and Jimmy over next with no trumps and Project Mars who's moved through into sixth place. We'll see what happens. Having been off the bridle early on, is still being pushed along in the light green colours. Is on the outside now of Ferenzi and Mole Trap. Uh, then Ruby Yates, our nest egg, having improved, has equally swiftly lost the position. And Norse Legend has a little bit spat the dummy at the back of the field and has dropped to the rear. Sheila's Fancy required encouragement to head out on that final circuit. Has the lead with the Premier Celtic, but is having to work harder. Jimmy is third place. Project Mars has moved forward into fourth. A lot of these off the bridle, a long way from home. Uh, two to three lengths back to no trumps. Casper's caught. Uh, Mole Trap. Ruby Yates makes ground round the outside. Our nest egg beginning to toil. And Norse Legend. So the leaders head down towards the fourth from the finish. The Premier Celtic in company with the orange colours of Sheila's Fancy. Then into third place goes Project Mars. Jimmy is in fourth. And the outside, Ruby Yates continues to make ground. We'll see what happens comes next. No trumps is off the bridle. Then Ferenzo as the leaders head towards three from the finish. The Premier Celtic's gone on now from Sheila's Fancy. And then on the outside, Project Mars. Uh, Jimmy comes next with Ruby Yates. These group about three to four lengths clear from We'll See What Happens. And then Mole Trap. 
No Trump's under pressure. For Renzo Castro's courts lost a lot of ground as they hit into the bottom turn. The Premier Celtic with Project Mars, Jimmy and Ruby Yates, the horses that are in closest attendance. So the Premier Celtic into that turn. Project Mars with Jimmy round the outside and Ruby Yates, who was one of the first off the bridle. A little short of room on the inside for Josh Moore, but he's still in fourth place and is in close attendance. They pull ten lengths clear from Sheila's fancy. We'll see what happens. Uh, then behind these, Mole Trap. So heading towards the second last, the Premier Celtic with Project Mars being brought to challenge. Ruby Yates has now got room to operate and is beginning to close in once more. They appear to have seen off Jimmy, who is in fourth. Second last, Project Mars led over it. From in second, Ruby Yates in the dark green colours, then the Premier Celtic and Jimmy heading down towards the last. Project Mars, but Ruby Yates draws alongside the Premier Celtic still in there battling as they head towards the final flood of hurdles. Project Mars in the cheek pieces, Ruby Yates the far side who jumps it straight and true and has a narrow lead as they head off up the run-in. It's Ruby Yates who leads from Project Mars in second, then the Premier Celtic and Ruby Yates. Josh Moore's persistence looks like paying dividends. It'll be a popular victory for the heart of the South Racing Syndicate as Ruby Yates sees it out to win. Project Mars walks over the line in second. The Premier Celtic third, then Jimmy behind those was Mole Trap and we'll see what happens.